These days, one of the hot commodities seems to be customizable keyboards. Many people have keyboards in all shapes, sizes, and functions. And today, I want to see what I get for under $50. Hi, my name is Amy Vishwanata and you're watching Techie Housewife. This is the Newman GM610 gaming keyboard. And it may look like just a little box with a basic little keyboard inside, but I assure you, it is far from that. These keyboards are seriously customizable. Some people like RGB, some people don't. Some people like keycaps that show the RGB really bright, and some people prefer others where it tones down the RGB quite a bit. It depends on your preference. So what does it mean to customize a keyboard? It means you can literally build the keyboard of your dreams. You can give it certain functions, certain looks, different switches of how loud you want the keys to click. You name it, you can do it. You can customize to your heart's content. So we stumbled onto this keyboard on Amazon and it was $49. You may ask, what's the big deal? It's $49. But what is cool about this is just for $49, I got a hot swappable keyboard. That means I can swap out the switches. And to me personally, I think that sounds like a great value. So the switches are not soldered down and I will not have to re-solder anything. So all I need to do is find compatible switches for my keyboard. And that means find switches that fit the profile for my keyboard. Then I can swap to my heart's content. So let's not delay it any longer. That sounds like Christmas. I love Christmas. Anyway, no more delays. Let's get right to it. So here we go. First thing I want to do is let's just take a little look at the box. Basically it tells you what it is. And this gives you a better glimpse of the keyboard itself. It tells you the system requirements. And right here, it gives you an idea of what the features are. We have high quality RGB backlit mechanical gaming keyboard, full key anti-ghosting, double injection durable keycaps, wired or Bluetooth, 3.0 Bluetooth, attached set of keycaps, we have RGB backlit and some switches. So let me just see, I forgot to bring my knife in. Let me see if I can just get this open. Okay, moment of truth. Are you ready? Okay, it looks very compact, I mean, the keyboard is not even the size of the box itself. Take a look at this. This from here to here is the keyboard. So what we have here is the keyboard, which fits nicely in my hand. Oh, get 10% off your next order, woohoo! So let's just take this out so I have it Oh, I like the sound. It's not too loud. I think it's the perfect sound, actually, the way it is. Actually, it feels good to push these buttons. Okay, sorry. Anyway, we have a USB-C port. That is for making it a wired keyboard. Back here is the Bluetooth setting. So that's our wireless setting. Actually, it feels nice and solid. Not cheap at all. Not bad for $50. Okay, what else we have? These are the extra switches. And if you can see that, I'll take one out and let you take a look at it. This little thing right here is what's going to make all the difference in your experience of how loud or quiet you would like your keyboard to be. Let's just open this here. Okay, these are 
the switch pullers. Right here, very convenient. And also, can't have a wired keyboard without the cable. So we have a USB A to C, and that is what's going to wire up our keyboard. Next, one of the fun things about this is this beautiful set of extra keycaps. I love the colors and the idea of customizing this and mixing and matching, it's just like, sorry, I kind of got carried away. But anyway, let me get this out so I can show you. I'm gonna try to get this out without dumping them everywhere, which this might be a problem. I could see mixing and matching totally. It would be like so much fun. Very cool. Let me just show you one of these. And, and of course, you have to have the manual to explain everything. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and I just wanna say this is such a great value for $49. Everything that's coming with it, you get the extra switches, you get the extra keycaps. I mean, I think it's quite a deal, honestly. So this keyboard was actually on sale um, and I will put the link below. I will say this, the keys are not extremely loud and I really like how this keyboard sounds. Uh, for me, this would be the perfect, perfect sound. I know somebody in this house who likes them a little louder. So they probably, if they were going to get this, would want to switch out for a different set of switches. Switch for switches, yeah, okay, anyway. Aesthetically, I'm really surprised how much I actually like this look. I'm very surprised. And this is supposed to weigh around, I guess, 1.92 pounds, close to two pounds, or 0.88 kgs. And as I said, it can do wired or use Bluetooth. Um, it is RGB backlit. It's also, if you see the side here, uh, it is a fixed angle, so you won't be able to adjust that. I don't know, maybe some people were super picky about that, but you're not going to be able to adjust that. And, and you have the USB-C port, of course, if you prefer wired keyboard to wireless. So what I really am curious about and I want to see is, how does the RGB look on this keyboard? I'm not sure that it's gonna really show up that great with these keys, but they seem pretty close together, but we'll see. and it's ready to go already. I'm going to type here. I'm not used to how tight and close these keys are together. So I did find myself over, kind of overreaching for certain keys, but I think this is something I could get used to. And it's really pretty. I just want to turn some light off here. I'm not sure how well you can see that. So I really do like how this shows up and I don't think the keys are hindering the RGB at all. So the keyboard is actually working. I was able to type. All I did was plug this in and it came up, said it was ready and it's working. Super easy setup. And this key right here, it's super easy to see. This is going to help control your RGB. I think all in all, out of the box, this is super easy to use. And I was slightly intimidated by it, honestly. Wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do everything easily or not. I don't know why, <laughs> but probably because it's my first time using one of these. What is so cool with this keyboard is I get a whole set of keycaps for free. And literally, this came with two sets of keycaps. This which is attached and the one which is not. And for $49, how can you beat it? So I can basically mix and match or just totally swap out every single keycap on here for the other ones. If I get bored with those, I can always order something else down the road. So many people do like to have their desks as compact as possible. And some of these keyboards remove the keys that are least used. For example, the number pad seems to be one of the most popular ones to remove. This keyboard here is 60% keyboard. That means 
If you compare the size to the size of a regular keyboard, this is only 60% of that size. Basically, it's reduced the normal size by 40%. Now that can present a problem like keys being too close together, maybe overlapping. I talked about how close they looked earlier. And sometimes when you touch one key, the other moves with it, or you kind of overextend your fingers to touch something and touch something else. But I think with time, you get used to the size. You can pretty much get 60, 65%, 70%, or even 100% if you like them like that. These days, the custom keyboard market has exploded. So just like people have to upgrade computers, it's now become a thing to upgrade your keyboard. Not to mention that financially, there's quite a bit more wiggle room in updating a keyboard than there is your computer. So as far as the case goes, you can get a plastic case, a metal case if that's your preference. If you like super clicking sounding keyboard, you can get switches for that. Or you may want silent keys or you may be an in-betweener. And I think maybe that's what this is. So there are switches for those. And for those of you who may be unfamiliar with switches, they are underneath the keys, which underneath here, and they get pressed when you press a key. Your experience depends on the type of switch you get. Each is coded by color, brown, blue, red, white, and each color creates a different sound when you press your keys. For example, blue makes a loud clicky sound, and then where brown is kind of in the middle, not over quiet, but not super loud. There's also a silent switch. Some keys are hard to press and others are super easy, so that all depends on a switch. So what I'm basically saying is that you build your own experience when you build your keyboard. And also, Keep in mind that how you build can depend on the RGB lighting, how it's lit, how it's controlled, etc. So one of the biggest upgrades you can have are the keycaps and people have a lot of fun with this. Colors, shape, the type of keys you get and the quality and they can cost anywhere from a few dollars to a few hundred dollars. So you can really go all out with keycaps. You can actually compete with your friends, trying to outdo them in the creation of super cool keyboards. Uh, that's a little harder to do with a gaming PC. Not only is it very costly to do those upgrades, but you can't just carry most of them around and show them off. So the customizable keyboard is something you can constantly upgrade, daily even if you like. You can even buy multiple parts and upgrade different keyboards and use each different keyboard for a different occasion. Gaming, work, anything. Okay, now for the test. How easy is it to actually do this? So we have the switch pullers and I'm assuming this is gonna help me pop the keycaps off. So let's just get at it and hopefully this works. <laughs> that I can get it in on this side. My fingernail works perfectly, <laughs> fine. As I was saying earlier, the switch is underneath the keycaps and that is what these are, they go right there. Just thought I would show you that. So, it was easy enough to get the keycap off. That didn't work, but my fingernail did. So, I would say bring something like this. <laughs> far it's been easy it's in there let's do the rest of these now
here's my finished product. The keycaps were super easy to get off. I used my fingernail and I also popped some off with this just so you could see that happening. And it was really easy. I wonder what it looks like lit up. And there we go. Very simple to change the keycaps. This is why they call it a customizable keyboard. You can play with it, you can change things, and you don't have to be afraid to break anything. I don't think you're really gonna break anything. I was really pulling and tugging. So I think this has been a pretty good experience. So I hope it helps those of you who may have been a little intimidated to do this. It helps you take that step forward to actually do it because it's fun. You can make it look like anything you want to. You see, I started out going all red and I thought that's just too much red. So I kept the grays in there and I think this looks pretty cool. I like it. I wish they had another blue one over here though, just to make it even. <laughs> so I've always fought with my husband about his keyboard. He has a really cool RGB keyboard and I threatened to steal it all the time. I mean, it's really super cool. But knowing that I can create whatever I want and make it look however I want, that's really appealing to me. And I think maybe that will be on the cards at some point. Now, at first when I did start pulling them off, I was afraid I might break something. But the more I went around, the more sure I was that I was not going to break something. Um, I, you probably saw one of the keycaps went flying. So it's still alive. It still works. I didn't break anything. Still feels pretty good. I think getting that extra set of keycaps was great because it made it easily customizable. It gave me that experience right out of the box, whereas you only get a couple of keycaps in most boxes with a customizable keyboard. So this was a lot of fun and I hope this was helpful to you guys. So just remember, if you get bored with your keyboard, you can always order new keycaps. You can always order a new case. You can order new switches. You can do anything you want to. You can change the RGB. It's all up to you. So what do you guys think? How many of you guys have the customizable keyboard? And how many of you have been interested but just haven't done it because you may be intimidated by it? Um, you can comment below. And that is actually all I have for you today. I really appreciate you joining me. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. And as always, have a key-tastic day.